I have two new features here in my hand. The first of which is, this is the new ink collectors. Uh, these come standard on the 360 and the 370 only. They are primarily for porous materials. But what I really want to show you here is the edge guard. We have a new set of very nice edge guards. These are excellent. These new edge guards are very well engineered to slide directly onto the channel of the actual insert. In this case, this is one type of insert, which is the uh, uh, ink collector inserts, and then there's another one which is trad traditional flat platen inserts. It slides along both of them. The edge guards come right off the end. These are designed to be integrated with these new rails. Couple things about them. Make sure that you don't let them get bent. Sometimes these get bent, or they're allowed to get bent. You want them to ride nice and clean and tight on the flat part of the platen. I use the edge guards very sparingly. Edge guards are really designed only in cases where the media itself, right at the print path, is curling in some way. Uh, certain wall coverings, certain PVC wall coverings will tend to curl. Also, some banners, especially banners where you're printing on the inside of the banner, those may curl a little bit. And in those cases, the edge guard is perfectly positioned as a tool to help you keep those edges down. For almost anything I run, I do not need the edge guards. Almost all of your adhesive vinyl edge guards are not needed. Overwhelmingly, most of the canvas edge guards are not needed. Most wall coverings edge guards are not needed. Most paper edge guards are not needed. I use these probably 5% of the time and I only use them when I look at the media and I kind of get an idea of how it's working. Fabrics, for example, I don't use these for any fabrics except a very small segment of fabrics that have a little bit of undulation on the edges of the fabric. If I use the take-up reel correctly on the fabric and it creates a little tension on it, that's really what you want to use, not the edge guard. It's that little bit of tension from the take-up roll that allows everything to lay nice and flat. In some cases, edge guards can kind of even get in the way where the fabric is having trouble getting under it and over it, and it creates sort of a little pop there. In those cases, you would have been better off without the edge guards. But edge guards do have a role. I use them for some banners, especially if the banner has that curl. I'm gonna slide those in place and make sure everything stays flat so the edge of the material cannot be caught by the print head as it moves across. Usually, having the right amount of vacuum, that's gonna hold everything in place a little better than the edge guard. But we have them now and they're integrated into the rails. They're very good edge guards. When you do have to apply them, they work flawlessly. There's a couple medias to be aware of that when you run them, they'll try to stick to the edge guard. Some static clings fit this bill. You want to be careful that the edge guard itself isn't allow that to stick. The material has to travel nice and smooth. Some materials also, now that I think about it, your certain card stocks, if there's a paper that has a lot of weight to it, this may help try to keep it down. But usually, you have to use it in concert with vacuum. Because if the paper has a lot of memory to it, and you slide these edge guards onto it, they're not going to hold it down. They're just going to come right up with that paper. And in that case, instead of running into the edge of the paper with a print head, you're going to run into the edge guard. Running into the paper is much preferred than running into a metal edge guard. So try to think carefully before you apply the edge guards. Don't just apply them uniformly to everything. Also, some magnetics, very bad idea to put the edge guards on them. They're not going to travel smoothly under there. There's so many different kinds of medias and there's so many different applications we run with latex printers that you have to take them on a case-by-case -case basis. But I don't recommend putting the edge guards on. My general default position is I take the edge guards off and then I only apply them when I really have to have the edge guards or the material will not travel through the print path. And if it still won't travel, maybe it's incompatible with a latex printer and neither the vacuum nor the edge guards nor the take-up reel is going to save it. I want to explain these. They're a great new feature. They're very well designed, but they do have their place and their limits. These are the edge guards.